What's going on guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. In this module, we're gonna be doing a couple exercises, like I said before, to really cement our understanding of everything we've done thus far in the course. So let's go ahead and create a new playground for that. So we're gonna go here and once again, just create a blank playground and we're gonna call this exercises. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste in here the prompts for our exercises, okay? So they're gonna get increasingly more difficult as we go. The first one, we are gonna be using loops and comparison operators to print out odd or even numbers in a range. So I want us to be to write a function of some sort that's gonna take in some sort of range of numbers and print out either odd or even numbers, right? So we're gonna be able to give a function, some range of numbers, and then print out either the odd or even numbers in that range. And we're gonna be using loops and comparison operators to do that. Next up, Given an array of numbers, I want us to compute the sum, the maximum value, and the minimum value in that array or list of numbers. The next guy is going to be a little bit more complicated, and this is going to be a lot more similar to what we see when we start building mobile applications. So let's imagine you wanted to build like a guest list app. We're going to create a function to search for a user by name. So if you would imagine you have a security guard that's using the app and someone comes up and says, hey, I'm on the guest list. You want the security guard to be able to search for that person's name and see if they actually are on the guest list. And then we are going to create a function to get all users less than a certain age. So for example, if you're having a party, you want to figure out who can drink and who can't. So, or who's an adult and who's not, whatever it may be. And then we're also going to write a function to do things like update a person's RSVP status, get the number of users attending the party, get the number of users not coming to the party, and print out a report of our users, like the age, the number of people we're having, the number of people we're not having, so on and so forth. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Next guy is going to be creating a product and shopping cart array, or, or sorry, data structures. And we're gonna write functions to apply a discount to an item, get the total cost of all of our products, and then print out a receipt. So this is gonna give you guys an extremely good foundation for the problem solving and critical thinking skills that you're gonna to need to actually start building applications. Once we get into the app development stuff, once you have this foundation, it's really just gonna be about building out your UI and you're gonna have all of the difficult stuff figured out already. So a lot of people will skip straight to doing the fun stuff and building the app and then they have no idea how to do the actual programming. So that's why we're doing this here, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and create a section for our first problem, guys. And I'm just gonna create a function to help us do what we're gonna do, and it's gonna be called print odd or even. So let's talk about what we wanna do and how we're gonna solve this problem and sort of the steps we're gonna to take to get there. So we wanna use loops and comparison operators to print out odd or even numbers in a range. So there's a lot of moving parts here, right? And I want us to start really small and just print out the numbers one through 10. So. I want you guys to try to pause the video and see if you can accomplish that without referring back to the loop section. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can do that on your own. All right guys, so you should have got something like this. Inside of our function, we're gonna say for i in one up to 10, print i. Pretty straightforward, we've gone over this before. i represents the value of the iteration of the loop we're on within this range. So Every time the loop runs, it's just gonna print that. So it's gonna start at one and go all the way up to 10. Let's just go ahead and say print odd or even to call our function, run that guy, and we should get the numbers one through 10 as expected. Okay, so that's the first step, right? We're printing out numbers in a range. So the next step is how do we determine if a number is odd or even? Well, mathematically, in order for a number to be even, we define that as it is divisible by two. So any number that is even has to be divisible by two. So <clears throat> by extension, any number that is odd is not divisible by two. That's how we distinguish between odd and even numbers mathematically. So how do we translate that into code? How are we gonna use logic and comparison operators to help us solve this problem? Well, if you guys remember in our operator section, we have this modulo operator that gives us the remainder of the, the result of the division between two values. So we're gonna be using this guy to help us determine if a number is odd or even. So let's go ahead and see how we're gonna do that. 
So we need to introduce some logic here in combination with that modulo operator. So I'm going to say if I percent two equals zero, print number is even, else print number is odd. And let's see if we can print out the number as well. And then run our code again. So we see that number is odd one, number is even two, odd three, even four, odd five, even six. So this gives us the foundation of what we want, right? And sort of the mathematical reasoning behind that is any time we look at i and say it's four, if we divide that by two, the remainder is going to be zero. And all that means is four divided by two results in an even division, right? There is no remainder. So it's zero. So that's how we determine if a number is even. And then else, the only other result we're going to get is the remainder will be one. And that will indicate to us that the, the, uh, the number is going to be odd. So we're just looking at i. And we're trying to get the remainder of the division between i and 2. If it's 0, we have an even number. If it's not, we have an odd number. So let's uh, delete this else block really quickly, because right now we're just going to try to print even numbers. So we could say, damn it, sorry, guys. I'm going to say print i. So now let's run this again. And you guys will notice that it only prints the even numbers for me. So. The logic here is that if i percent 2 is equal to 0, we're going to print i, and we notice that it gives us back even numbers only. So next step, guys, is we want to be able to define whatever range we want in this problem, right? So right now, we're just doing it from 1 to 10. What if when I call this function, I want to be able to specify the upper bound and lower bound of my range? So I could print the even numbers in any single, any range that I want. So let's go ahead and tr try to figure out how we're going to accomplish that. So we're going to want to add an input parameter to this function so that every time we call it, I can specify the range when I call that function. So let's go ahead here and just say upper bound, and it's going to be an integer. And I can just replace 10 with my upper bound. And now when I call my function, it's going to ask me to supply it with that upper bound property. So you can hit that little red circle and hit fix, and it's going to pass that in for you. Now we could do like 100 here. And I could run this. And it's going to give me back all the even numbers from, you know, 1 to 100. So next step, guys, is I want you to once again pause the video and see if you can make this a little bit more dynamic and supply a lower bound to our function as well, so that we can define a completely custom range of values that we want to print odd or even numbers between. So go ahead and pause the video, see if you can. Okay, so it you should have been able to just follow the same pattern we used for the upper bound. So you're gonna say lower bound, oops, and that's also going to be an integer, and now your function is going to look like this. So it's going to ask you for a lower bound and an upper bound. And we're just going to replace one with this lower bound guy. So our function is going to go, it's going to start at this lower bound, go all the way up to this upper bound, and it's going to print the even numbers in that range. So once again, you guys can just hit fix there, and it's going to pass that in for you. Swift is really handy with that. And let's like maybe do it from 50 to 100. And let's see if this works. So you guys notice that we get all of the even numbers between 50 and 100 back. So now our function is really dynamic, right? We are printing out the even numbers from any sort of custom range that we want. So now I could go and call this again, print odd or even. It's going to ask me for an upper and lower bound. And I could say like 1 to 20. And you guys will notice here that it goes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, all the way up to 20, right? So that's really cool. And the last step of this guys is going to be to determine if we want to print odd or even numbers. So we're going to add one more input parameter here that's going to help us determine when we call this function if we want to print out the odd values or the even values. So let's go hit here and we could say like show even. And this is going to be a Boolean property. Okay, so now our function is going to ask us for three things. It's going to ask us if we want to show the even numbers. 
If we say true, that means we print out even values. If we say false, that means we want to print out odd values, and then we will also specify the lower and upper bound. So here, let's go ahead and fix our functions. So we could say show even true. And for this one, we could say show even false. And let's make the range the same. Let's make this both like one to 20. And let's add a divider so that we can distinguish between our function calls and our console. Okay, so now we have to add some logic in here, right guys? So right now this is printing out our even values. So we only wanna do this if show even is true. So let's go ahead and say if show even and else. So here, let me just add some comments. Print odd, print even. So now we could just take this guy and paste it into this if block, right? And then here, let's paste this. And we could replace that with not equal to zero, print i. So now we have the foundation for our logic here. Let's go ahead and see if it works. So the first time we print two up to 20, and the second time we print all of the odd numbers between one and 20. So this is looking really good, guys. So let's just give this a full breakdown. So basically we're saying, hey, if you wanna show the even numbers, then you need to check to see if i% percent two is equal to zero, and if and only if that is true, we print i. And then uh, opposite of that, if show even is false, which is this guy right here, this else block, right? Then we are gonna say if i% percent two is not equal to zero, meaning it's gonna be an odd number, then we print i. So this is combining a bunch of different concepts that we've learned thus far, guys. And I think we did a really good job of breaking that problem up into smaller problems and slowly solving each component, right? So we started off with just printing one through 10, then we figured out how to print even values, and then we could specify a custom lower bound and a custom upper bound, and then we added the ability to show even or show odd numbers. So that just gives you guys an idea of what it's like to not only solve a problem, but how to translate a solution into a program. This is a skill we're gonna work on over and over again, and it's the foundation of any good programmer. You have to be able to take a real life problem, solve that problem, and then translate the solution into code. And we're gonna be getting a ton of practice with that. And in the next video, we're gonna continue on with these exercises and go on to exercise two. So that's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. We'll see you there. Peace out.